Well, hey there folks. Today we are outside because it is a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous morning. Absolutely gorgeous. So today we're going to talk about are you worth it? Are you worth it? Are you worth it for God to leave the 99 and come get you? Well, let's see what the Bible says. Let's find out. Now, it's only got one scripture for you today that we're going to talk about. And like I said, I entitled it, Are You Worth It? Entitled? I titled it, Are You Worth It? So it will be uh, in Luke 15, verse 1 through 7. So we're going to go there together, as per usual. We're going to go to the front of our Bibles. Very front. Because once again... I don't know where these are. Actually, Luke I knew because Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, I knew those, but I don't know what page, so Luke 1586 is my page. Alright, Luke 15. Once again, we're finding it real time, just like in real life. For real life, man. And one through seven. All right, this is the parable of the lost sheep. All right, here we go. Fifteen, one through seven. All right. Now the tax collectors and the sinners were all gathering around him, but the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered, "This man welcomes sinners and eats with them." Jesus then told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulder and goes home. Then he calls his friends and his neighbors and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people persons who do not need to repent oh uh, where have we heard that before leaves the 99 leaves the 99 that's in a song it's in a jesus song uh, i wrote it down in my notes i took notes again uh what is that song called it's called reckless love yeah and in the chorus it says leaves the 99 so I come across that phrase in the Bible, I was like, I've heard that before. I was like, let's talk about it, let's read what that says. And I was like, that's pretty cool, let's talk about that. And when I was, I was thinking, I was reading about that, I was like wondering, you know, maybe there's some folks that, you know, they don't feel like they're worth God leaving the 99 to come get them and bring them home. So, I wrote some notes here. Let, let's see. Let's see what I said here. I did this a few days ago and just kind of let the spirit flow and just started writing stuff down. I was hearing it for the first time. I was reading it for the first time when I was writing it down. So, let's see. Who here is a lost sheep? I mean, I'd, I'd vote that we all are. Right? At some point or another in our lives, we're, we're, we're lost and we don't know. We don't know how to get back. Um, some of us don't think that God cares enough to find us and get us back in the pasture. Or some of us may think we're not worth it, that we don't deserve to be in the pasture. Yeah, I'm playing along with the parable. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, my friends, these these are all lies. These are all lies. God created us. We're his children. Of course he's going to come look for us. But we have to do our part. we got to call on his name and repent. We just, read, we just read that heaven rejoices when we repent. And I came up with a couple comparisons. And I don't, I don't know. They're just not that, not that great. But one of them was kind of funny. It said... So, like, how cool would it be if you go to your parents and say, Ma, 
dad I, I messed up you know I snuck out and I took the car to a party on the way back home I got pulled over for speeding and the car got impounded I'm sorry but then they rejoiced instead of getting your butt whooped or getting grounded or whatever like they rejoiced you messed up you repented I'm sorry I, I'm sorry help me do better and they rejoiced I think that's pretty that's pretty cool you know you got the story of like the prodigal son you know there's you know he takes off and comes back years later after spending all of his inheritance and you know his daddy welcomes him rejoices has a party for him gives him the best clothes like they pull out the best food and like it's crazy it is a story in the bible we can touch on that a different time because i don't know where it's at off the top of my head it's not in my notes so Let's see. The, the point is, is that you are worth it. Okay? God will leave the 99 that are in the pasture, and He'll come find you wherever you are. Wherever you are, okay? He'll come find you, because you are worth it. He created you. He created you. He wants you to be in the pasture. Okay? He wants to be with you. He wants to walk through life with you and, and help you do life good stuff it's good stuff and when you do when you come back when you come back you, know, you repent and you, you come back heaven rejoices heaven rejoices after you've messed up after I've messed up after we have messed up and we come back to the Father and we repent you know Lord I'm sorry I messed up please help me do better heaven rejoices heaven rejoices when we come back there's no shame involved God doesn't shame you for messing up we all mess up we all fall short every day every day we fall short and God forgives us he forgives us we're not worth it we're not worth it but God's grace God's grace says that we are worth it we're worth it to him he forgives us he draws us in he holds us in his arms guides us through life oof woo woo oof I am feeling the feels on that one. Oh goodness. To God we're worth it. He will come find us. Mm. So if you're feeling like you're not worth it or you feel like you've messed up too bad for God to want you I, I want to you know, I want to pray with you right now. Right now. Because now is the time. You know, let, let's call out to God together. You know, we're, we're lost. We're lost out there. Let's, let's call out for God together. You know, whether you're a follower of Jesus Christ and you've wandered off, or if you've never had an opportunity to be found, you know, in, in James it says, if you believe with your heart, and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. I'll prove it to you. What did I say that was? Let's check this out real quick. So I swear I'm not making this up. What did I say it was? Romans? Romans. Romans, Romans, Romans. Oh, guys, this is, this is life-changing stuff right here. 1746. Absolutely. Absolutely life changing stuff. I think it was Romans 12, 2, maybe. I don't know. Romans 10, 2. Yeah, Romans 10. 
start at 8. What does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming. That if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you believe that, if you believe that Jesus died for your sins, died for us, and three days later, God rose him from the dead. You will be saved. That's where salvation comes from. That's 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 how you get to heaven. You know, through Jesus Christ, where He died on the cross for our sins, so that we can be forgiven, so that we can go to heaven. It says it right there. It says it right there, word for word. All right, so let's go ahead and pray together, guys. Let's pray together. Let's. Let's call out to Jesus and say, Lord, I'm right here. I'm right here, Lord. Thank you for leaving the 99. I'm right here. Take me home. I repent, Lord. I am so sorry. Whatever I, I've done, whatever it is that you've done, speak it out there. Repent. Be like, I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. All right, let's pray together. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for leaving the 99. Thank you for coming to find me. I don't feel like I'm worth it, Lord, but the Bible says that I am. You say that I am. You say that I'm worth it. So Lord, I come to you, Lord, and I believe what the Bible says. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that God rose you up three days later. I believe it, Lord, and I receive it. Lord, come into my heart. Come into my life, Lord. Guide me. Hold me. Show me. Show me what your will is for my life, Lord. And live inside me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being there with me. Thank you for guiding me. In Jesus' name, amen. Folks, I tell you what, if you just prayed that prayer, your life is forever changed. You now know that you are worth it. The Bible says it. God loves you. He created you. He created all of us. He loves us. He's our Father in Heaven. And now you're sitting right there next to Him. He's right there with us. Every day, all day, no matter what you're going through, he's with you. He's with you. All right, folks, I will catch you on the next one. See ya.